So this is another uh, unboxing video of a backgammon set that I recently acquired. Uh, this is a very special backgammon board made by Gammoner of Munich, Germany. Uh, the boards are made one by one by hand by Volker Wensloff, who is the owner of Gammoner. Uh, Gammoner is considered one of the preeminent backgammon board uh, names uh, in the world. It is a favorite of backgammon professionals and backgammon aficionados. And this particular board is uh, a very special board made by Gammoner uh, recently uh, that is to commemorate the life of Paul McGrill. Uh, Paul McGrill was considered to be the best backgammon player in the world at one point. Uh, he is also considered to be the father of modern backgammon theory uh, because of his book from 1976, Backgammon, which is considered sort of a seminal text. Uh, even though some of its ideas have been modified by the power of computer engines, it's still a very influential book, and uh, he's still considered to be one of the best players in the history of the game. Paul McGrill was known as X-22, his sober K, uh, and that came about because he went through a hand-rolled tournament that he did himself with 64 avatars, X-1 through X-64, and in the end, X-22, prevailed over X-34, and that became his nickname uh, up until the time that he passed away, untimely, in 2018. This board is called an X-22 board. It's a commemorative board, and it was designed in collaboration between Mr. Wensloff and another uh, backgammon aficionado and tournament player in Germany named Alexander Auer. Uh, I'm very pleased to be able to own one of these, and I was lucky enough to be able to get one of the few remaining that corresponds to a direct roll of the dice. This is number 16 of 22. And I'm going to open it uh, with a handy dandy X-Acto knife that was given to me by my backgammon friend Mona Maza here in the Sacramento area. And we'll see what it looks like. I'm going to open it, roll some dice on it, uh, and just comment on its general playability and, and looks. I expect it's going to be Probably one of the nicest backgammon boards I'll ever own. Um, these were made with full hide leather and with merino wool felt on the playing surface. And wow, it's packed pretty well in bubble wrap. It's got corners uh, with stainless steel corners. And the checkers are 50 millimeter checkers. They're going to be huge checkers. This just looks gorgeous. And it has feet on the bottom so that you can rest it on its bottom without any concerns. Wow. That, boy, that is really, really nice. Um, couple special features about the board. It has some uh, some things on the inside that commemorate Paul McGrill. Particularly, it has one of his favorite sayings, put the checkers where they belong. And it also has X-22 on a couple of things inside. So, so as you can see, this has got um, just beautiful stainless steel on the corners. It's got these beautiful stainless steel locks. So let's, and it's amazing handle, leather handle. So let's open this up and see what we have inside. Oh, that is just really gorgeous. These are hand-stitched dice cups with five millimeter calf leather. This is merino wool felt. Wow. The points are hand done by Mr. Wensloff to fit perfectly in with this gray heather. Um, over here it says Paul McGrill Memorial Board, limited edition, board 16 of 22 by Gammoner. Here it says Gammoner, and then inside here where the check where the dice are, it says put your checkers where they belong, which is kind of Paul McGrill's uh, sort of signature phrase. These are precision dice black and white, and then these checkers are specifically designed for this board, and I want to just highlight how these checkers look. These are huge checkers, 50 millimeter checkers, 
They have a very nice sound to them too. It's a very interesting sound. Those black ones are unbelievable. Look at the marbling on that. Gosh. And these bone colored ones as well are just stunning. Translucent in spots. Really just, look at how those compare. Those are just gorgeous checkers. Wow, what do we have here? These are probably just spare checkers. Let's see, yeah, spare checkers, put those aside. Uh, let's hear how these dice cups sound. Very nice. It just sounds beautiful. It's slightly padded, but gosh, this, this merino wool felt is just beautiful. This is almost like kind of a very light gray, almost like a heather kind of wheat, you could say. Off-white, black, absolutely perfectly integrated. This is a certificate of authenticity signed by Gaminer Volker Winsloff with this unique series of only 22 boards worldwide. According to Paul McGrill's nickname X22, Gaminer Boards commemorates Paul McGrill, the father of modern backgammon. You know, I got into this board uh, and, and found out more about it um, through Facebook groups um, and, and just being a, a backgammon board aficionado. But there was a really excellent uh, commemorative video by backgammon giant Bob Wachtel uh, that talks about Paul McGrill and the development of modern backgammon in the 70s. Uh, back even in the day when Paul McGrill was writing a backgammon column for the New York Times. Those were the days when they even had chess columns. Um, that video, I have a link to it below. Bob Wachtel also has a couple of books that he recently published that get into the history uh, of, of gammon, backgammon and his experiences with backgammon. I'll have a link to that as well. Um, and uh, this is just a really excellent, uh, incredibly high quality board. And I'm going to set it up and play a few, a few dice and move the and move the pieces around so you can get an idea of what it looks like. And one thing I forgot to mention is this is this cube, which you can see here. It's got the X22. This is milled from solid aluminum. This thing is really heavy, and uh, it's just really hefty. So that is really cool. So this uh, set out to play just looks incredible. Uh, these black checkers, which I believe are, are limited uh, edition checkers strictly for this board, are just the most beautiful checkers I've ever seen. They're, the marbling is unique to each one, and they are just stunning, like zebra prints. No two will be the same. Same goes for the bone checkers, which are just incredibly detailed. Uh, this is felt lined all around, black, gray, off-white, just stunning. Uh, I love the cube. Obviously, I'm a, kind of a cube guy, as you know. This thing is just really chunky. And, I mean, you can sense how, how heavy it is. Uh, I'm going to move some checkers around. These have an interesting sound. They must be made from something other than, like, what I'm used to because they have a very kind of rich, uh, mellow sound. Uh, I love the dice cups. So let's see what we roll here. 5-2. Okay, well, that's a typical move. Oh man, the checkers just glide on this marina wool felt. Wow. 6-3. Hmm. Let's do this. I can't wait to play uh, some friends with, uh, with some friends on this. That would be a hit. Oh, and this is also nice as well. Like this leather covers where you'd normally see the hinges, so it's just all bar all over the place. Um, wow, just gorgeous. Oh, double sixes. Boy, that, that would be a cube at this point, right off the bat, I think. That would be a cube to uh, to uh, to white from, from black, and I think it would probably be a take. So let's, uh, depending on the match score, of course. But since we're just playing a DMP match right now, it doesn't matter. So, black, 
five two. Hmm. That is a good roll because I'm just three one. Hmm. Well, this is beautiful board. I cannot thank uh, Volker Wensloff and Alexander Auer enough for creating something that is a work of art and also a beautiful board game. This is something that I'm going to probably play, play on uh, in somewhat limited fashion. In fact, I kind of uh, was hesitant about even taking it out of the box. It seems like buying a collectible car and then driving it home through a mud storm uh, from the auction, but it needed to be seen and I wanted to see it and I wanted to show people uh, just the quality of, back, of Gamuter products and uh, I would encourage everyone to consider looking at their website, gaminer.com, I believe it is. They have both a German and a U.S. website. Uh, thanks to Bob Wachtel uh, for letting me use <clears throat> some pictures from his video in this video. Thanks to Mona for the box of cutter. And um, thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.